Hey guys, Sunlocks here, back with our blind playthrough of Subnautica Below Zero. So last time we got all three of, or the third component of the alien, we ran out, we found the polar worm. It is the polar worm area, just as I suspected. Um, and I know... I know that's kind of how the original did it as well. Which is like, oh, this area has reapers. This area has sand sharks. This area has this. There was like one threat per area. But yet somehow in this one, it feels... It feels gimmicky. It feels gimmicky in this one. It's like, oh, it did it. It did it. It dropped the thing. I'm going to flip the, the door closed too. Right on. Um... Right, and yet somehow in this area it feels gimmicky. Maybe because that's the only reason to go out there. The only reason to go out there is for the, the alien component, right? So... Yeah, I mean, there's... Maybe that's why. Similar to the, the crystal area. Although, to be fair, at least with the crystals, there's... Uh, more stuff. Right? I mean, the crystals have... There's, like, materials down there. Out in the, the polar area. Ah! Uh, I mean, there's other stuff, too. It doesn't make a lot of sense why they... Like, why would you want to go back there? Like, why they put... Why they put the teleporter in, right? change the color of the lead. Uh, purple? Purple, I guess? I don't know. Copper! We need ion... Ion cubes somewhere right here, I guess. Right, more, more fiber mesh, of course. Um, I guess... I don't know if I need this. We'll put that in tools, because I feel like we'll probably... Um, thumper right there. We'll stick the extra batteries over here. Um, laser cutter, repair tool, mineral, flashlight. Blade, Sam's necklace. We'll just keep that with us. That's fine. Pengling. I mean, if we're going underwater, probably not. All right, back to my underwater stuff. And that's... It's kind of annoying as well. It's like... Another... Another scavenger hunt, basically. You're just like, oh, just just find it. Just go find it. It's like there's no... The, the purpose, right? Um, yeah, and I feel like a lot of this stuff, sort of the little conversations between them, there needs... There should have been more of that. Um, but more... Meaningful, I guess. Something that shows that they're... Something that shows their personality coming through, I guess. Um, so, you you have this map. This is the map. Two-thirds of it is land. That's an issue. We have to go deep. So, you know, we've been here to get one alien component... Here to find the Leviathan. Um, was there another alien component here? No, I don't think so. Um, alien component under here. Come to think of it, I think there were two down here, right? There was the deep lily pad area, and then 
the crystal area, right? Which is kind of basically the same area. Um, I, I was thinking about this between, you know, while I was eating lunch, basically, before this. And the only area we really haven't been is here. And this is where we found the deep, the those garden things, the giant garden jellyfish. So it's probably here. I mean, if it's in the water and it's deep, then that means it's in this area. This area is probably tapped out. Uh, I didn't really see anything down here because this is where the greenhouse was and I went I went down. Doesn't mean it's not here, but that's... So my thought is it's here. Um, and we can... Wow, I have a lot of food. Oh, I must have eaten one of those things. Well, that's fine. We'll, eat, we'll drink some water here in a bit. Um, now, the, the question is, what do we need for all the body components, right? Iron cube, ribbon, plant, kyanite. Let's, let's just pin all of them. So, and then we can shove them in, um, maybe the locker with the gold. Or... Yeah, who knows. I don't know, we'll put them in one of these lockers. Okay, so we need two ribbon plants. Uh, a root pustule. Did I only get one? I thought I got two for some reason. Young cotton anemone, root pustule. Strange. Did I plant it? I really thought I got two. We're checking. All right, so do we need... Well, we do need... Let's make, um, make a plasteel ingot to start with. And then three diamonds and uh, some of the cotton anemones, I think. Plasteel ingot first. You know, and there's synthetic fibers. All right, so plasteel. Two ribbon plants. Boom. Boom. Can I add this? No. And I believe... Uh, where is it? Yeah, hydrochloric acid. Three of those, so two more. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, that works. That worked out. And. Welcome aboard, Captain. Salt. And we'll do one thing of water. That way we can drink one. Alright, so. We need gold. One thing of gold. And three diamonds. Hydrochloric acid. Polyaniline. All right, so that's one thing. We'll stick it in with the gold because I'm not going to be taking any gold, so. Okay, 
And then we can oh, I guess we have to go back to the blueprints to unpin it. Well, what else do we need? Synthetic fibers, root pustules, two gel sacks. Let's grab the ion crystal, wherever that is. One of those, and the kyanite. One, two, three. All right, so that's the top two complete. And thankfully, they're all different components, right? They're not like, oh, you need three titanite for one of them and then another four titanite for another. They're all they're all distinct. Uh, the synthetic fibers... I mean, I could run back to that place and get them, but I think you can just make them... It's what? One ruby and... Uh, one piece of the spiral plant? There we go. We can make one of those. Two gel sacks. And so we'll just need a root pustule, which you could probably scan for. I mean, that's how we found it originally. Oh, and before we do that, though... Ah, yeah, yeah. One root pustule is all we need. Okay. Now the question is, am I going to... take all this stuff with me... when I go looking? And... I guess. I guess I should. I probably should. It's probably not necessary. We just need one. I really thought I needed, you know, more than that, but... We'll just, we'll just go there, it's... I have enough oxygen, it's probably faster to take the sea glide than to just get in the... than to take truck coon, you know? Oh, there's a lot of them. Well, that makes sense. Oh yeah, we're going for the hole right here, I think. Yep, there it is. Watch out for crash fish. Oh, thanks. Thanks, dude. Watch out for crash fish. There was one right there. Come on, man. We'll get a couple. We'll get like four. I just... Yeah, I just passed. Oh, you! You jerk. I mean, we're here. We'll take a couple. We'll take a bunch. Alright, that should be enough. Because I think you use them to make torpedoes, too, as well, right? That dude's back. Watch out, sea monkey! I don't know why you gave me the creep vine sample, but um, I'll take it. I'll probably shove it in the bioreactor, to be honest. Or I could make more fiber mesh out of it. We could do that. There we go. But yeah, I should I should bring it with me. Do I have a storage module for the uh, 
on that thing. If I do, I could... Well, but then you lose everything if it gets blown up, and that we don't want. So... Yeah, we'll make, we'll make another first aid kit. You never know. All right, so... So that's everything, right? This stuff, this, two of those, two of those, two of those, I think. Kyanite, diamond, repustule, synthetic fibers, gel sack. Yep, that should be everything. Takes up about 16 slots. And we have 12, 14. We could leave the pangling behind, I suppose. Oh, I took the wrong... Took a wrong turn. All right. We'll leave the pangling behind. Well, that's enough there for all of it, assuming I find it. I mean, if I don't find it, who knows, but I'd rather... Bam. All right, let's make sure we've got everything. Yes, we do. I hope you found... All the ion cubes you needed and didn't turn them into stuff. All right, we are going. Let's try copper mining. And then we'll head in that direction. Yeah, I'm annoyed we didn't find Outpost Zero. I don't... I still have no idea how to get there. And, well, even if we do scan it... Well, unless it's something that I don't have, then, you know... Then it won't matter. I don't know. I really, really do feel like it's gonna be like, Oh, you built my body. Okay, great. I'm out. Oh, now I have to find a way off this rock. Oh, it gave me a spaceship blueprint. Yay, now we have to build that. That's probably how it's gonna go. And I assume there's a fabricator, right? I assume even though I brought, like, the habitat builder with me, I probably won't need that to rebuild the dude's body. Um, okay, so copper mining is down here, but we actually want... Well, I guess we could go this way and see what, where this takes us. Nowhere at the moment. Yeah, what does happen when we go off the map? We might end up finding out. All right. Right, 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 right. Little tornado things. Little, uh... The deep. More eye jellyfish. This is unexpected. Are we at the edge of the map already? 
I mean, I hope not. Let's start going down. It looks like the dunes almost, like it's sand, you know? Makes me a little bit nervous, if I'm being honest. And I don't know what that is. What is that over there? Looks like a cliff or an iceberg or, or something. I don't know. We'll just we'll just stick to the ground. Oh, I wish I had sonar. God, I think this is the edge of the map. Certainly looks like it, doesn't it? Wait, what's that over to my... Over that way. Looks like there's something. Like a little cave under the surface, which we probably can't get to by going this way, but... Okay. Hmm. Let's save. We'll save and then we'll... We'll try and hug the wall. Pretty sure this is the edge. Yep, yeah, 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 yeah. Ecological death zone. Yep, we're out of here. Prospect for survival is fast approaching zero. Oh, whoa, 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 it shouldn't be that way. Uh, yeah. Also, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Alright, well. Let's head east. Yeah, this feel- this map feels freaking small. But mostly because only a third of it is water. Sorry, fish. Alright, so it's super deep blue. You better not be after me. Alright. Yeah, the garden deep gardens or whatever. And I swear, I swear that guy has... Oh, it looks like Kara, but it must not be, because it's just the bioluminescent markers. Alright, well, let's pop out. We'll see. Alright, I guess, um, I guess we go straight and down, because that's deep. You know, this is the only area we've been that we haven't been as far as we can go. Even when there's no fish around, I still manage to kill all the fish. I don't... If there is a way down into there, I don't know. Maybe there, but it still seems really small. It does seem very deep. I don't know if I can go down there, though. Let's try it. Lots of stuff. Wait, we've been this way, haven't we? Didn't we go down here already? Yeah, we did. Right, because there was an ion cube over there. Alright. 
And nothing... Well, okay. Maybe we... Well, then what? You know? Anything else on the map? I mean, maybe if we go... Southwest? Well, let's take a look at the map. Okay, so we basically went south and the map is here. We kind of went this way, south. I mean, we're we're skirting the edge of the map right here. I don't, maybe here, maybe under the greenhouse, there's something. I mean, we explored the, the mining facility. I don't think there was anything over there. Um, yeah, I don't know. Can't you, can't the dude give me like a little clue? You know what I mean? I don't think we want to go west. I mean, I feel like east would be really the only solution. Let's... Okay, that's where we were. That's south, which is nothing, possibly the dead zone. Let's do a little southeast. South, southeast. I want to... I mean, we can kind of skirt the dead zone a little bit. I mean, I'm sure it's right there. I'm sure that's the edge of the map. Right? Which... This map feels tiny. It feels so tiny. I, mean, I, I doubt it's at outpost zero. Fish murder. Okay, what is this? Oh, we're into the lily pad area, I bet. Yep, see there's squid sharks and all them. See, they're out there. They're chilling out. They're not getting murdered. Murdered. Um. Yeah, I don't know. It's like go deep. Okay, great. But where? Give me a hint at least, because every deep area that I've found, we can't go to. See, I mean, maybe, maybe there's like, there's the crevasse or crevice or something where it falls off, but that's southeast. So that's probably also the edge of the map. But we'll try going, try staying east-ish because... You know, as long as we stay on the map. I mean, maybe it's in here? But that looks like it just straight up goes up. Yeah, see, it doesn't look like it actually goes anywhere, except... Back to east, I suppose. 
until we hit the other edge of the map. What about this? Um, this looks like it's getting to the edge of the map again. Yeah, see, it does. I mean, it... Mm. Well, we'll... You know, we'll take a little peek. That's kind of the thing, is you can't... Oof. Yeah, we're going back. Well, sorry, staying where the music is. Once the sound goes all quiet, you know you're off the edge. That's your little warning. Okay, so we're... We're, like, right here. We're here-ish. Let's head north. I don't know what to do, unless maybe... Maybe there's something I missed in the Kappa, the mining area? I mean, there were those doors. But I, I wouldn't expect anything to be, like, right on the edge, because then you only have one way. It would, you know... It makes sense for there to be boundaries. Um, you know, like, like for here, it's like you, you follow it up and then you can't go and then you'll find a little alcove with the thing in it. It's like, great. I mean, maybe there's something right here in the middle because we didn't really do anything with that except I, th I mean, maybe we did. I, I have no idea. But that's the thing. I thought it would have been, well, I guess it, it could still be in this area. Could st I mean, this is a pretty big area. I don't know. Should we go talk to Maida again? I mean, Maida doesn't even talk to us anymore. It was just the... Better not come at me. Better not come at me. That is definitely the edge. It's supposed to be deep. Well, let's head north-ish until we get to, uh, you know, under under her greenhouse. Jesus. Which, I mean, hopefully, the only other thing I could think of, which this would really piss me off, okay? There's water right in here. Right? There's water in here. You may have to dive. We may have to go down there. And it might be down there. And that would be the most freaking annoying thing. Because, I mean, look, it's land, right? But it's, it's at some depth. So maybe you don't think it's going to be down there. I suppose what I could do is, is head all the way, you know, kind of here and just follow the coast into, and see if there's a hole or something. Let's drink some water. 
I don't... Yeah. And it didn't even give you a little log entry or anything. It's just like... It's just like... Dead zone. At least, you know, the original Subnautica, it, it explained it. It's like, here's why it's dead. Everything's dead. And, uh... That's basically it. There was like a... There was an in-game reason for why you couldn't go off the map, and I'm pretty sure this is the edge, or very close at least. Yeah, because that's the greenhouse up there. That certainly looks like the edge of the map right there. See, that's terrifying. Yep, just kind of goes down. Just goes down. All right, truck coon. Let's get the hell out of here. Just follow it north, I suppose, until we get to that ice shelf. Part of the dead zone, too. I don't know, but I'm. I don't want to go off. Losing truck coon would be a bad day. That's why I'm happily following the ground. And it's like, really, no sonar attachment? Or at least not one that we've got. Okay, this is the other edge of the map. Yep, I mean, you can see it. You can see it. And there's... What, ice? <sighs> Alright, well... Okay, so we're here now. It's at some depth. What is some depth? Like, give me a... Give me a clue. It's like this episode, I spend the whole... Well, that's a big chunk of ice. Is this the coast, or what is this? Alright, well, we have a bunch of little icebergs and stuff. Oh, it looks like a... Probably the... North boundary of the map. Uh, I don't know. We're somewhere in this area. And we've looked on some of these other ones, and I think maybe we tried to look at some of this stuff. Um, I know we followed under the ice. Uh, may as well again. Glow whales.
Interesting that there's a bunch of, like, scratches on this side, right? That's weird. Wow, and I can't see anything. Maybe there isn't anything to see. <sighs> okay, well. What's up, buddy? Turn your blinkers on. Lights on. Whatever. Um. Mulan and nearby iceberg detected. A hollow chamber typically formed by glacial melt. Okay. That's worth investigating. Oh, inside this iceberg, huh? And it looks like there's holes. Wait. That's weird. But maybe we have to go from the bottom? Okay. It would be weird if it was inside an iceberg, but maybe... Oh, fish murder. I don't know why I'm saying that, but... Screw it. I do what I want. <laughs> That's the hollow thing they were talking about? Am I gonna get killed if I go in there? Like the ice iceberg is moving around and it just it just crushes you. Reasonably certain we can't take the Alright, what do we Well if you need water there's fish. So what do we do? Wait, what is that? Creature egg. Okay. What? Are those glow whale eggs? What's going on? Can I not stay on the surface? I, I guess I... Well, I guess it doesn't matter. We're at we're at the top. Um Right. So I guess this is your place to get those eggs if that's what you want. What Which creature are they for? I have no idea. Is that a rock rub? Stuck on the ice? Oh, all right. Go for it, buddy. Well, I mean, that's cool. It's cool that they told me about it, but it doesn't really... It doesn't really do anything for me. Can I grab this thing right now? Yes. There we go. Well, and maybe there's actually something... Well, actually, that's north. No, maybe. Maybe we could check down that way. Northeast, because, I mean, we're not... We've been going... Well, who knows. I mean, it might be the edge of the map again, but... I mean, if it's not... Maybe it's worth checking. I mean, maybe there's something under this, or maybe not. Maybe it's just the edge of the map. <sighs> yeah, reasonably certain that's just the edge of the map. Just probably keeps... Keeps going down until it's the edge of the map. Alright, well... Follow it west. Um. What did I hit? Oh no! I'm sorry, Ray. See, Poppin's still there. That's fine. It's 
better? Well, alright, let's keep, uh... I mean, annoyingly, the whole Outpost Zero thing, like, I have no idea how to get there. Like, this is that big ice shelf, um, presumably on the map, right? Like, that's this. This is that. How do I get there or get on it? I don't know if we can. Sorry, fish. Wait, wait, wait. This is where we try it. It's dead. It means you can't cook it. Well, we're taking a tour now. You're taking a tour. Oh, there is Dingbat. Oh. It's about to eat us, isn't it? be able to get onto but for what purpose like right here oh well never mind because I still want to see if we can get to get to outpost zero you know I mean, now is not the time. I understand this. Now is not the time, but... Watch out for the whole fish. I'm just a little annoyed that I've basically spent... the better part of an hour... Go deeper! Yeah, thanks. Thanks, dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Just don't hit a sea monkey, please. That's all I ask. Oh, well. Okay. Is this where we are? Yeah. Yeah, we're... We're here. Okay, well, let's... I don't even think I hit anything. I don't know what... I don't know what the deal with that was. Wait. Maybe I'll get right here. Uh, no, probably not. Grab the snow. Okay, so no. Don't eat the yellow snow. That's... that's the key. See, that looks like I should be able to get on it. Okay, I can. Now what? See, I'm not using, um... Not using my cold suit, so that's potentially a problem.
Um, I don't know if I'll be able to go that way. Because we want to go north. Run. Let's see, yeah. Right here, maybe. I'll use one of those little, you know, packed lunches if I if I have to. I'm probably going to have to. I fully understand this. See, she is running. She should be warm. Hypothermia imminent. Yep, I understand. Oh, okay, yeah, let's eat one. All right, there we go. Had to be done. Okay. Truck Coon is far away, but I mean, if we're supposed to be here, they'll eventually give us peppers, I think. Okay, where am I, though? Wait. Wait, can I not... Oh, man, I'm at... I'm at the edge of the map? Wait, 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 what's that? I don't know, but I can't go this way. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Uh oh. Uh oh, I might be. Ah, oh, shit, I think I'm stuck. Well, I could be stuck. Oh, maybe I... No. No, I think I'm, I'm like, stuck. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. No, no, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Jump, 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 jump. Come on, jump backwards, because backwards seems to work. Come on. Okay, let's try this. Signal lost, yeah, good. I mean, it looks like that's Omega. My God. Okay. okay, if I go backwards, it pushes me into the rock and now I'm even more stuck. Let's eat another one. Strange. I'm like totally stuck, like more stuck now. I mean, it's fine. We didn't accomplish anything. Let's let's reload. Um, I don't. I think the last time we saved was overlooking the void. So I still have no idea how to get to Outpost Zero. Um, it looks like you maybe can do it from land. I mean, I assume that's Outpost Zero. It's, it's also... It's also entirely possible... Yeah, let's get that... Uh, Oh no, I saved right before here. Eat you. And then with the few minutes that we have remaining, we're gonna head northwest for a bit. 
Yeah, so you can see the fade in really good there. Or really well, however you want to do it. Um... Oh yeah, and the color change and the... Is it the big dog? Which one is that? Oh, that's one of the crypto suck sucus things. Watch the time. So my thought is that that area that we saw might have actually, it's either outpost zero or since we were basically running into the edge of the map, probably the, in the early access area where you started, that's probably what it was. Because typically what happens is they don't actually delete stuff, devs I mean, they just move it off the map or, you know, that's like the second map or, or whatever. Oh, right, right, sea glide. Okay, so. I think this is where we found ourselves. No, maybe not quite here. Yeah, maybe. Where we somehow got onto land. Yeah, maybe it was this area. And again, maybe not. Hmm. Or perhaps it was. I can't even tell anymore. I have no freaking idea. I have no clue. It's a little annoying that you basically have to, you know, you want to get to Outpost Zero, one of the areas of the game, and to do it, you have to essentially rub against all the walls. That sucks. Until you find the, you know, whoop. Until you find the secret passage. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, there is a mountain. Which I assume is this. So outpost zero is probably that way. Wait, what is this? I guess we uh let me let me pop out we'll uh repair my little pod here and then it's entirely possible this is uh outpost zero which is kind of unexpected all right guys well that is it for today thank you guys so much for your time and attention really hope you guys enjoyed it um I have no idea where to go. At least next episode we'll, we'll, um, you know, go to Outpost Zero, I guess. Maybe that's not Outpost Zero. Um. We shall see. I'm totally unprepared, mostly. But, uh, yeah. So, what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? For me, it's weird. I got, um, I was, apparently I was one of the people randomly selected to do the CDC survey. And they included $2 in it to incentivize me to actually do the survey. Like, literally $2 bills. Two $1 bills. I was like... Alright. People don't often send cash in the mail. 
Uh, so that's fine. I guess I have two more dollars to spend at the strip club. That's kind of a joke. I don't spend any money at the strip club. <laughs> you could take that a couple of ways, which is why I like it. Um, but that's my unique pause moment. Hopefully your guys is just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys, take care.